Our story today begins with a young boy traveling through his neighbor's yard. As he was wandering, he accidentally hit his head on a branch like an idiot. But little did he know what was coming from that very tree. Boom, boom, boom! Wait, wrong music. I think that's it, right? Yep, right, boss? Yep. He was so excited, he ran home as fast as he could. And it was, like, really close, so he didn't have to run that far. And he was, like, so excited, and he was, like, running, and yeah. He showed his dad, who had a pretty weird reaction to the apple. Like he's never seen one before. It's, like, crazy. And there was his brother that he also shown that was absolutely mind-blown by it and wanted it all for himself. He did, didn't he? But he was no match for Ben's strength. And then he hit the apple again. Yay! But sadly, the apple said he couldn't be tied down to just living with his wife, even though I'm not a woman. That was really insulting, Apple. But I let it but I let him go. I let him go all by himself. And there our story truly begins. As Apple looked out beyond um, words, he found a house. Yay, house! Hold on, give it a minute. It's a house. Yay, house. He was so excited about his new house, had a kitchen and everything. He wanted to go greet his neighbors, which he thought would be so nice. They lived on this trampoline. It's a gated off community. It's weird. But it turns out he wasn't so fortunate. Because they beat him up. Boom, boom. He was so beat up, he was rushed to the hospital where he was greeted by peaches. Three peaches. Three peaches. And the three peach nurses took him directly to Dr. Banana. And after that, he, after he was fully recovered, he decided to make, do all sorts of things, like make music about fruits and vegetables. But mostly fruits, because fruits are better. He invented a robot that could move a little bit. He became fruit's best swimmer. Like, check it. He's floating. It's pretty amazing. He starred in Jurassic Park 4, The Age of Fruit. He chose Bulbasaur, the best starter ever. He helped ban Fruit Ninja for its fruit violence. He met Steve. He bought a yacht. Yacht. And last but not least, he met the girl of his dreams with a booty so fine, though. Green Apple. He knew from that moment on that they would get married. And then, there's the wedding. Yay! Everybody loves wedding! And everyone came just because there was free cake there. Oh well. As a Mario character, I pronounce you... Apple and Apple. You may now kiss the apple. Come on. Just do it. What are you waiting for? There you go. And they enjoyed their nice and relaxing honeymoon. It turns out the apple really liked pie. No, not not, not that kind of pie. Next picture. That kind of pie. There you go. That kind of pie. But little did they know that their honeymoon would be interrupted by a mass murderer.
Apple stood back in horror while this whole thing was happening and trying to understand everything that had happened until that moment now. He was so sad. He met someone about his problem that tried to help him through the tough times he was dealing with, to try not to drink coffee away his pain. It was a really deep conversation. Yes, it was. He met a can of peanut butter named Jif that said he could get a job that would get him friends and money. And all he had to do was do a couple of experiments. And just one, really. Seeing how long he could survive underwater. They got ready to fill him up, as Apple was a little bit nervous, but not completely fearless. Because he didn't know how long he could survive. Because he was an apple. They filled up the container with water. But around halfway through, Jif got this dirty look on his face, and then he put the lid on, trapping Apple inside. They filled the rest up, hoping that to, to drown him, probably. I wasn't supposed to say that. Spoiler alert. Never mind. Apple then woke up in a, on the cutting board that he had been drowned on, met by another apple. Other apple! Dun dun dun! Other apple said he was gonna kill Apple, and then, whoa, camera view. And then he was gonna, he was gonna replace his life and steal all his money and fortune. Because he was a singer, and he invented a robot. And he swam and he had a boat in a Bulbasaur. Dun dun dun. You'll never get away with this. And then they cut them up into delicious little apple slices. Which were even better with peanut butter. Mmm. And other apple took his place on earth and everyone else lived happily ever after. Except for apple. And green apple. And everyone that loved green apple or regular apple. Hey, look, it's me!